Welcome friends to my channel. If it's the first time here, pull up a chair, get comfy. If you've been here before, then cheers for persisting. Name is Turk, bass player for Talisman in addition to multiple other acts and also former pro wrestler. You can expect me to talk a lot of bullshit and once in a blue moon, maybe even make a little sense. Now, due to a system outage in my area over the weekend, my schedule for this week's a little all over the place and likely all the way out the window. But I will give you, you know, my best promise that I'll do what I can. But given that I'm learning as I go, yeah, we'll see. The thing like this video at least will be an improvement over the last one because it was pretty bad. Now, today I'm checking out Ginger and their song Pisces. Now, there's a lot of buzz about this band, likely from what I hear due to their vocalist, Tatiana but I'm pretty interested to hear about it for myself. So grab a cold beverage, kick back, pants are always optional, and let's get into some ginger. Firstly, I'd uh, just like to say that very good studio set up. Like, obviously, that place cost a fair bit of money to record in. Um, but obviously, this isn't done live. Like They're, play they're doing this along to the recorded track because the way it's set up, you would have so much bleed from the other instruments into all the microphones. Nothing would come out properly. However, from the recording great tone everything's audible like very good mix uh, we'll just go back to the start and i'll try not to interrupt for a little bit Just quickly, uh, if anyone knows what brand of bass that that guy's playing, I, great time for me to stop the video too, it seems. Anyone knows the brand of bass that he's playing, let me know, because it sounds fantastic. And I love the tapping technique he, he has done during that verse there. It's pretty damn good. Okay, I'll just go back uh, a little bit, because I think they're about to come into a different section here but we'll see how it goes Wow, I, I was not expecting that. Like, I expected the music to ramp up a bit because you know, they're a metal band from what I've heard. But uh, I was not expecting those vocals to happen. Very, very distinct, heavy growl vocals. Like, 
I've heard women do growl vocals before, oftentimes well, but going into it after those cleans, that was awesome. Like, she has so much control. This guy, impressed. Um, wow. Uh, and the transition was awesome. Like, I was expecting to go heavy, but that was pretty damn good. Uh, let's go back a bit. Yeah, that seems to be a good spot. Okay, I, I gotta say, like, the transitions there, going back into the clean after the heavy, heavy, like, chorus section, great idea. Like, it's always so tempting, especially with metal bands, to just keep getting heavier and heavier. But pulling back a bit, giving that breathing space, smart choice in my opinion, and, well, it's obviously paying off pretty damn well for them. Also, just gotta say, their vocalist uh, Tatiana, like she's obviously either a natural showman or showwoman, or has had some great coaching because she is so animated and expressive. For someone who's having to stand in one spot to keep people captivated, top marks, top marks. Let's just go back a little bit. And then keep going. Million brings life with all the rest of death. Just pausing for a second, you can just hear the uh, the slight double tracking of the vocals there, and delays just a bit to to fill out the sound. Great move, great move. Just before we go back into the chorus, uh, if you'll notice during that verse, she sang it with a much different cadence in certain parts than the previous verse. Uh, keeps things interesting, you know, rather than dulling down with just the exact same rhythm of the original verse. Good song, mate. Okay, and notice there they've double tracked the uh, the vocal there, but with a much different scream than in the uh, the first chorus. Um, I'm not sure if they double tracked it in the first chorus. I might just uh, skip back quickly and uh, see if they did in the first one. Scale on my 
Okay, no, they they didn't do it in the first one. They did in the second one. Once again, like whoever helped produce this song really knows how to, how to captivate someone's attention. Great move. Okay, let's go back to where we were. If I can remember, it's about there. Close. Okay, where are they going to go from here? Sounds like they might be a bridge into a solo or an interlude. Okay, I love how yeah, you've got the clean guitars there with like coming into their own and then the bass really becoming prominent with their runs. Like this is amazing songwriting. I love it. Uh, let's just go back a bit. I just want to hear that that little intro to the interlude once again. That staccato beat on the high hat. Great accents. Cherish his life to the underworld. Such an ethereal feel during this part of the song. So airy. Look, you guys heard that too, right? Like, that's, I'm blown away. I did not expect the song to go here. And the vocals, like, the combination of the heavy vocals into the clean in that last belted phrase, like, <sighs> yeah, that needs to be heard again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll try and let it play out from here. There's only about 10 seconds left. Sure. 
Wow. Like, God damn. That's how you write a single to get attention. Like, I expected they'd return the chorus, but that was such a much better choice. Ramping out for the big finish. Whew. That was a trip. As a bass, it's like, I love how much the bass stood out in that song. But I could see why people were shocked by Tatiana's heavy vocalist. Personally, I was even more impressed by a cleans, especially in that last part of the song. Like, such powerful clean vocals. Like, oh. And such a well-written song showcasing the skills of each band member while keeping it subtle enough that they didn't overpower each other and really letting the vocals shine, which was the best choice because that's where the attention came from for a lot of this. Once again, that was amazing. I I definitely have to check out more of their stuff. If anyone has a recommendation for another Ginger song, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll check it out. Oh, almost need a drink after that one. Okay, well, that about wraps it up for this episode of uh, Fuck Around and Find Out. <laughs> Cheers for coming out and hanging out with me and uh, you're welcome back anytime. I'm hoping to get at least one more video out this week, but uh, we'll see how we do. But if I do, I hope I see you back for it. Once again, feel free to comment below any suggestions for songs to check out, any genre. You know, I like to step out of my comfort zone and the only one I'm going to do that is by checking out songs that people recommend to me. Um, what else? Oh, of course, if you like the video, you want to help me out in any way, please like and share the video as well as subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for any future videos that really help me out give me some encouragement to keep going so as always i'm your resident old man trying to work out what the hell he is doing you've been great and i'll catch you next time cheers <laughs>